Hey, YouTubers, this is Francis. It's, um, it's about uh, 6, a little at 6.09 p.m. on Wednesday, September, no, October 2nd. Excuse me. Ooh, almost lost a month there. Anyways, uh, I went uh, swimming in the pool this afternoon, and uh, I, I, did, I just rode my bike over there, and I got my mail, and I put my bike inside the fence now so that, you know, I used to lock it up to the fence with it outside in the grass, but nobody's using the pool anymore, so I just kind of open the gate and walk my bike in and put the kickstand down on the opposite side of the pool where the gate is. So while I'm swimming in the pool, you know, I mean, the bike's right there. And it's nice. I just leave my bag on the handlebar. So when I go there, I take my sandals off and uh, just get in the pool and swim. So I swam, you know, I swam my half a mile today and I did my leg kicks. My last set of leg kicks, I, my, my uh, legs were cramping up, my calves and stuff. So, you know, I get a good workout. I was in there for over an hour. Because I got back here, it was like quarter of four, and I think I left to go there about 2 o'clock, 2, 2.30 in the afternoon. I don't know. I was over there. I was there for over an hour. Anyway, so that's all I did was swim. I went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know, 50, 54, 56 lengths of the pool. So, uh, anyways, when I came back, you know, I took a shower. Oh, actually, I shaved and... Uh, and took a shower, and so my hair's nice, you know, I think I got to get all that chlorine out, you know, so, so anyways, I just washed my hair, and my hair is really nice, I, I have this, uh, I love my shampoo, it's Nexus, and then I use uh, the conditioner, so my hair comes out really nice, I think it looks nice, it's real thin, it was never this thin before, I think it's just because of the climate, okay, so when I'm swimming in the pool, you know, I'm doing breast strokes, so I'm doing, getting this action, so it's all my upper arms. My arms are getting thinner, see? Um, if you look at them up here, the triceps, and, and I'm losing fat under my arms, so that. And then when I do breast uh, backstroke, I lay back and I'm facing up, and I just move my arms like this. So, you know, you do that for an hour. You're pushing water, you're pushing water, you're pushing water. It's a good workout. It's good cardio. You know, I mean, I'm not an Olympic star. I'm not racing. But it's 50 feet from one end of the pool to the other. So whether I do breaststroke, you know, I, I get to the other end of the pool. And I come right up against the wall. Then I got to turn around. I don't kick off the wall. Okay. And, and I switch strokes. So in other words, uh, if I'm doing breaststroke this way, then, you know, I stop at the pool and then I'll, I'll go on my back and then backstroke the other way. And then when I get to the other end of the pool, I'll just, you know, slow down, go vertical, and then do the breaststroke back. So I just go back and forth, back and forth. So, hey, it probably takes a little bit less than a minute to go 50 feet the length of the pool. I'm not, I'm not in there killing myself. You know, I'm just going at a constant rate. So, uh, anyways, in today's mail, I got a new, uh, this is a seamless one-piece bra. This thing was really hard to get on. But it's like an elastic band here. And I think this is a 46 BCD. So, anyways, it's it's orange. It's some kind of orange burst. And this was on sale. It was like, you know, less than half price. It was like on sale. I think I got it from... Actually, I think I bought it from Her Rooms. I used to buy stuff from there, but I haven't so much lately. But I liked it because it was no hooks, okay? I mean, it's hard to wrestle this thing on, and it's probably going to be hard to get it off because, you know, it, the back, it's hard to get everything straightened out and everything once you get it on because it all rolls up into, like, a narrow thing, and it, 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 it's tough, you know. 
But once it's on and it's spread out, you know, it's nice. It's comfortable, you know. I mean, I could sleep in bed at night with this, you know. Gives you good support. And, uh, you know, I really don't really need a lot of support, you know, because uh, most of my breast tissue is just probably fat right now. But, you know, I mean, not to say, you know, if I do get my diagnosis and go on HRT, I'll probably... Uh, start growing breasts, you know, I mean, that's the whole point of getting on HRT, ain't it? So, anyway, um, so I had a good day, you know, and I came back from the pool, I was kind of tired and everything, and, and I ate the rest of the rice casserole that uh, I made this morning. So, I'm, um, and I had made myself a pot of coffee, and uh, let's see, it's a little after 6 o'clock now. And I added a couple teaspoons of my bourbon. <laughs> so, putting uh, two teaspoons of that bourbon in, in a cup of coffee, you know, it gives it a nice bourbon flavor. And besides the 100% Colombian coffee, you get uh, a caffeine boost. You also get an attitude adjustment boost too. I mean, you know, it's you know, you don't you don't it doesn't even feel like I got a buzz. But the little bit of alcohol that's in the coffee, you know, I put some stevia in there too. So, you know, it makes you feel good, you know. I mean, I, I'm not gonna complain, you know. I mean that's why I you know, I I'm I was involuntarily retired four and a half years ago from my job and you know, I got real health issues with, you know, heart failure and everything. So, you know, basically it's a full-time job for me to take care of me. You know, I mean, you know, I get up in the morning, I cook food. If I don't cook, I'm going to go out to eat for lunch and probably eat something that's worse for me than staying home and cooking. So, you know, so for me to get up in the morning, brew a pot of coffee, then I cook, right? Cook the vegetables, and then you reserve the liquid. You know, I what I do is whatever I steam some of them, and the veggies that are in the in the pot, I I spoon them up into the uh, steamer, and all the fluid, okay, pours down. So what I do is I get that dome lid. And I put the dome, I flip the dome lid upside down. Then I put the, the steamer in on top of that, which fits inside. And then you just pick up the pot and you just, you know, spoon the ingredients down into the steamer. And all the water and juice and, you know, uh, liquid goes through the holes in the steamer into the, the, the dome lid. And I measured it. There was only like a cup of fluid. You know, I started, I put like two cups of water in there to cook the vegetables and steam the vegetables. So, you know, in steaming it and cooking the uh, onions and everything, I basically probably steamed off about, you know, a cup of water. So I added another cup and a cup and two, th cup and three quarters or two cups of water. Then you put a, a full cup of dry rice. And you simmer that for 30 minutes. I don't simmer it. I don't boil it real hard because I, I just simmer it on a low heat. And, it, and the rice slowly sucks up all the water. And, uh, and then, uh, then I kind of fold the veggies that are in the steamer, okay, back into the rice and mix it up in the pot. And then, then I put it in that glass pirates bowl I showed you in my last video so that's the way I do it you know and then if I, I don't eat it all because there's enough food in there for two meals at least two maybe three you know depending on how it's a full day's uh, serving of food you know if you want to lose weight I mean you know I could eat two of those and not lose anything but but anyways uh, you know I just ate that and I'm happy you know I'm not hungry at all right now nothing you know, so, you know, I'm happy with that. And I'm going to lose weight because, you know, the total calories is under 2,000 for the whole day, you know. So, 
and I was swam half a mile in the pool. So I know, I know my body, my heart. I probably burned up, you know, 3,000 to 3,500 or 4,000 calories today. So 2,000 calories, that's almost like half a pound, isn't it? Because a, a pound of fat is 3,600 calories. So, so uh, if I burned off uh, 1,800 calories today, more than what I ate, you know, I lost half a pound of fat, of fat today, you know. So that's what it is. And, you know, I don't work out every day. I did it Monday, and I did it Wednesday, and I'll do it again on Friday or Saturday. So I only, I only swim my half mile like two or three times a week. And last week I didn't swim three days. I think I only did two days. But on Friday last week, I pedaled my bike seven miles each way to go, you know, out for lunch and visit the lounge. So, so anyways, uh, gee, 11 minutes. Boy, time flies when you're having fun, huh? So anyways, um, that's about all I have to say. And, uh, oh, on Tuesday, today's Wednesday. Yeah, on Tuesday next week, I have my second therapy appointment with my uh, gender counselor, and I have no idea. I think we'll talk about why path things because uh, that's what she told me she wanted me to read, which I did. And uh, so it's been two weeks since I saw her two weeks ago, and uh, so I got like six more days to wait. So, yeah, six days from now, it'll be Tuesday evening, and I'll probably give you an update about what happened at the counselor. Uh, my counselor appointment. So, uh, anyways, I plan on chooching tonight with Rosie and uh, having more coffee. And boy, I'll tell you, this hundred percent Colombian coffee with a little with stevia—that's zero calories, right? And this stuff is hundred and eighty proof. I mean, that's ninety percent alcohol. Okay, but you just put. Um, Here's a teaspoon, see, a teaspoon. Put it right over the cup here with the coffee in it. And you just very carefully pour a little, you know, two teaspoons of this. And, and it just gives it a nice bourbon. Oh, it is delicious. You know, and, and, and it's not enough. You know, two teaspoons is three teaspoons in a tablespoon. Two tablespoons is a fluid ounce. So basically, two teaspoons is a third of a fluid ounce. So, uh, and this stuff is twice as potent as whiskey. So, so let's say it's two thirds of a fluid ounce of. So, so basically, what you're putting in there is like uh, two thirds, or maybe like half a, half a shot of whiskey. So, you know, it does flavor, you know, it does flavor the coffee. You can taste it because that's like a 10, that's like a 10 ounce cup of coffee right there. This, these are 10 ounce cups that holds like, because this little five cup pot is what I use and, and I can make five cups of coffee here. And I can fit two cups, two measured cups in this coffee, coffee cup because I use the bigger cups, the bigger mugs. This is a coffee mug, basically. So, so uh, you know, I mean, hey, it's it's really good, you know, and so I, um, so this bourbon, I think this thing of bourbon is going to last at me at least a month, you know, just just having a little tiny bit each day, you know, it's going to go down just a little bit, little bit, little bit every day because I'm going to add, you know, I basically four or five measured coffee cups. This is like two, two of these cups. So, um, and, uh, so anyways, uh, you know, I mean, you know, I, I had a couple of teaspoons of the, uh, shine with my coffee. So I feel pretty good. You know, I mean, I, I can't really say that I'm, I feel like I'm not sober, but, oh gee, almost 15 minutes. Man, I'll tell you, time goes by when you when you chooch on this recording, you know? So anyways, I gotta quit, because 15 minutes, I don't like going over 15 minutes. So uh, anyways, um, gotta go.
And uh, I hope everybody likes my new bra because it is so comfortable. You know, it is like, it, it, it kind of like caresses you. <laughs> feels good, you know. And it feels good in my shoulder, but I lost a lot of weight in my back. Especially when you swim, you know, you get the muscles going. And all the fat in my upper upper back and then and then under my arms here yeah, see a lot of this flab is going away and yeah my muscle is becoming more clearly defined and but you know what hey I'm not going to complain about having muscles you know I mean I mean that's crazy you need muscle to burn fat okay so the way I look at it you know if you got you know I I don't have a problem with girls that have uh lift weights and, and look buff, you know, I mean, hey, you know, I mean, as long as you're in good shape and you're a good, healthy girl, you know, I mean, that's all that matters to me, you know, I mean, you know, you got to look at it, you got to take a long view on this, right, healthy is a lot better than sexy, in fact, I think healthy is sexy, okay, so let's redefine that, huh? Okay, all right, Francis is starting to ramble now and and maybe get a little too vocal about some things. So anyways, um anyways, I love all your comments, so comment, like, uh subscribe, whatever, you know, if you like listening to me, you know, I, I know I'm different from uh most of the other girls and um of course, I have an entirely different set of issues too, but that's okay. You know, I mean, I um, I don't discriminate against people because they're different from me. Actually, I like people that are different from me because, you know, um, I I don't like copycat people. You know, I don't copy people. You know, if I see a behavior that I really like, hey, maybe I'll copy it. You know. But, you know, just because I like you doesn't mean I'm going to, like, instantly approve every one of your behaviors or things you say. You know what I mean? I'm not a bobblehead, you know. So, but everybody has a different point of view, and you've got to respect that, you know. And, and I do respect everybody's point of view because you came from an entirely different subset of circumstances than I did, okay. So I respect that, you know, and uh, so that's, I guess that's a good way to end this. Uh, so everybody have a good day and rest of the week. Tomorrow's Thursday, and for some of you, that's payday. And then Friday is just like 24 plus 30 hours away, and it'll be Friday. Woo okay. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, because it's going to be Thursday in six hours. Yeah, yeah. So, in 30 hours, it's going to be Friday. Yeah, but then you got to work, right? <laughs> okay. All right, all right. I don't want to touch, I don't want to uh, touch a tender nerve here. Hey, I worked my 40 plus years, so you know what? I was going to early retire at 62, and you know what? That's only 18 months away, folks. Isn't that scary? Woo! Just think of that. In a year and a half, I'm going to be 62. I mean, that's incredible, you know? I don't feel that old. Maybe it's because I'm eating right. <coughs> Love you. Bye. And... Okay, I mean, I'm drawing blanks here, and I'm a rambler, and I, I should edit the last two minutes out of this video. Maybe someday I'll have somebody to help me do that. Okay, alrighty then, it's under 20. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so uh, just just go out and have fun this weekend, you know. Just go out, and you know, I think it's Columbus Day, right? Columbus Day weekend on Monday. Monday's a holiday, so hey, go and have a good time. You deserve it.
All right, especially if you're working. Love you all. Bye.